is, if you don't write your ideas down when they happen, when that lightning strikes, you will forget it. You will, and you can't save it for the next day. And, um, and the, the magic that happens when you do, just do little sketches or thumbnail sketches or just thumbnail your animation and do things like that, it leads to more ideas. And if you don't start that process, those other ideas are just sitting in the background and they probably won't come out unless you start laying down that track. So, these handy devices are the best thing you can always have on you and have a paper because, um, you know, we're all creators. That's what we got into animation, you know. And you guys have your own ideas and, you know, they can start as little, thin, simple uh, thumbnails. But to me, I always equate the filmmaking process of, like, Tom Sawyer story who wasn't allowed to play with his friends because he had to paint the fence. And so his friends were out playing, and Tom Sawyer starts whitewashing the fence and making it seem like it's the funnest job in the world. And his friends come over and go, what are you doing? He's going, I'm painting the fence, because painting the fence is fun. <laughs> you want to paint the fence? Pretty soon he had all his friends painting the fence with him. And John got done, and he got to go play with his friends. I may be butchering that story, but that, it, it's, that's, you know, if you do that, um, all of a sudden, painting the fence is fun. And it's fun for you, and it's fun for everybody. And if you can get people onto your idea, and, and pitch it to them, and show it to them, and get them excited about it, you're going to get a bunch of friends that want to help you. And come together, and, and in turn, you will help them on their ideas. And, you know, no man is an island, and we are a communal force. It's give and take. You help them, they help you, we all help each other. And don't forget, you know, just because there's difference, you know, the dividing lines between Disney and DreamWorks, Sony, Bob, you know, those aren't really real. Because everyone works at all these different schools. Another great analogy for directing, I'm just filibustering here. It's a parable of stone soup. Um, where, I guess I'm the guy with the, everyone else has different versions of food, no one wants to share with each other. The guy's getting really hungry, and he has his rock, and he's covered in mud, and he sticks it in the pot, and he starts to boil it. The steam starts to rise, and people start to come around and go, oh, what are you thinking? Well, I'm making stone soup. Painting the lights. Well, I have some salt that would go with your stone soup. Should I bring my salt? Sure, bring the salt. So, bring the salt. Someone else comes up and goes, I have carrots. I can go with your stone soup. Yeah, bring the carrots. What are you guys making? Stone and carrot salt soup. I have celery that would go with it. And you get my point. And pretty soon, Everyone brings these disparate ingredients together and makes something everyone can enjoy. So, somebody's great at lighting, someone's great at reading, someone's great at animation. We need each other, and we all have to make soup together. You know, so don't be shy, branch out, and that's what's great about The View, is you can meet other people that love this as much as you do. Meet them, get to know them, find out what they do, show them what you're working on. And, and that will carry you through your career. And still, something I live by, and I'm still learning. I'm still making new people. I met a lot of great people today, and saw a lot of great work today that inspires me. So don't be individuals. I think that's enough for my soapbox speech. <laughs> but I really appreciate you having me, and I appreciate Maria Elena for having me, and all of us, and, and, and getting to know many of you throughout the festival. Thank you.